In May 2018, I had a talk with Philip Nicholas about a book called Dancing by Marguerite Wilson. And the lady that gave this book to him, who was a famous dancer from France. This book came into my hands from a lady called Michelle Nadel, who's a very famous dancer in France. She was actually born in Saigon and lived till the age of 15 and then came to Europe, to Paris, and went to the conservatory for ballet and worked under a man called Pierre Comte, a very famous man. So she, a few weeks ago, she was 89 years old and um, she had an illness where she couldn't walk anymore. So she had decided that um, she'd done everything she wanted to do in her entire life and therefore she wanted to leave and organized louder and organized um, her own uh, death um, which is absolutely illegal in France but it happens so a dear friend of mine has been a dear friend of hers for many many years and he'd often spoken about me to her and he had often spoke to me about her so I always wanted to meet her and she always wanted to meet me but it never actually happened because once I went to live in Australia, it was difficult. So I was in Paris on that Monday and um, I sent him an email the day before saying I would be in Paris and would it be possible because I knew the time was coming when she was not going to be here anymore. So he said, come Monday afternoon and you can meet her. So I arrived at her home, well, in the home apartment, which is right behind the... Um, the Parliament building in Paris, beautiful area. And for the first time I met this wonderful woman. She was 89 years old. She looked, her face looked 70 years old. Her eyes were sparkling. Her smile was amazing. And you know, she's just, I'm just so happy to meet you. And, and then she started talking about dance and dance and dance, not just ballet, or, or ballroom, but all forms of dance. And uh, this woman has already had the highest medals given by the French government to somebody who has given their services to dancing. So she's been in films. Can Can was a big film in the 1950s with Shirley MacLaine as the star, and she was one of the stars of this film, and, uh, and many other films in France. So she said to me, I'd like to give you something. And she gave me this book, which is called Dancing Wilson. And the book was actually from 1911, and it was uh, written by Marguerite Wilson. And the first, it was actually a copyright from 1899, the Penn Publishing Company. Paris. I think it was in Paris anyway. And the book is completely in English. So it's an amazing, amazing book. And do you imagine that a book more than a hundred years old is still this beautiful book today? It's just unspoilt, not damaged, and um, it explains so many things about dancing right from the steps, the change, the slide, the step, the leap, the hop, the halt, salut, the grand march, square dancing, quadri, quadri with crawls, the basket figure, the cheat figure, the minuet figure, social star figure, the lancers, waltzers, the candle candelions, the polkas, and all these different other dances, including the waltz, the two-step polka, three-slide polka, Berlin. Many of these we don't, I think, know what they are today. And, uh, and then it goes right back to the last part, which is etiquette of balls and parties, the way people should behave. 
and the way sh people should actually dress. And there are quite a few of the, um, like, little, pho not photos, but what do you get we call them, the, the prints. And um, you've got ladies, gentlemen, looking like gentlemen. And it's just amazing that after a hundred years, we actually have this book that we can read and learn from, maybe. And it's sort of like the, the beginnings of our form of dance. And yet this lady was very involved in ballet, particularly. And um, she had all this other information about our dancers. So it's just a woman that was interested in dance. And um, I had the pleasure to meet her. And um, when we finished our chat, which took about three hours, um, she said, I'm very happy to meet you. Just a pity it's the last time. And two days later, she uh, passed away.